I'm glad to be insulted and have hard times. I am glad to be persecuted and have problems because it is when I am weak that I am really strong. Welcome back to another meditation. Today we're going to dive right into it and talk about authenticity. And sometimes it is difficult to admit that we can't do things on our own. It's human that we have this desire to take care of ourselves and just deal with whatever comes at us. And this shows a lot with social media, where we highlight the best parts of our lives, but not the moments we're going to struggle. And in 2 Corinthians, Paul talks about something called a thorn in his flesh. And there's been a lot, a lot of debate on what this thorn is. We can't tell if Paul was being literal or metaphorical or if he was suffering from something, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. And we're not going to focus today at what Paul meant, but rather how he dealt with this thorn and how that can relate to the true definition of authenticity. So we got to start with our scripture. There's a lot of it today. But it'll be all good, I promise. So join with me, 2 Corinthians 12, verses 7 through 10, which starts like this. But I must not be too proud of the wonderful things that were shown to me. So a, pain, so a painful problem was given to me. An angel from Satan sent to make me suffer so that I would not think I am better than anyone else. I begged the Lord three times to take this problem away from me. But the Lord said, my grace is all you need. Only when you are weak can everything be done completely by my power. So I will gladly boast about my weaknesses. Then Christ's power can stay in me. Yes, I am glad to have weaknesses if they are for Christ. I am glad to be insulted and have hard times. I am glad to be persecuted and have problems because it is when I am weak that I am really strong. So... The first thing I notice when we read these verses is that Paul begins by explaining the reason for the thorn in his flesh. He didn't want to become arrogant. He didn't want people to think he was better than anybody else. So, or he, as uh, one translation puts it, is he didn't want him to become conceited. So you see, like, pride and conceit are the enemy of what authenticity means. God wants us to be realistic about our weaknesses and although pleaded although paul pleaded with god to take away take it away god didn't and it seems that god's refusal to remove to remove this thorn taught paul a lesson about his own suffering what it says is that when we understand how weak and how powerless we are we are truly against our own sin and we become reliant on god instead of ourselves and that shows true authenticity. Yes, being real or being authentic is recognizing that we need God's mercy, God's forgiveness, God's love every day. So what do we do with this new information? Well, if we want to be authentic, then we need to be vulnerable. In other words, we need to be willing to admit that we need God in our lives. James gives us practical advice when it comes to this authenticity. He tells us that we need to tell each other about what we're dealing with in James 5.16, which says this specifically. So always tell each other the wrong things you have done, and then pray for each other. Do this so God can heal you. Anyone who lives the way God wants can pray, and great things will happen. So now, how uncomfortable are you? I thought so. But we're going to use Paul's example, just as we did earlier. Well, we're going to use Paul as the example like we did earlier. Paul was an evangelist. He, had a, he was a man that had a heart for God and one who suffered a lot. And he recognized the importance of confessing his many, many weaknesses. After all, he confessed, he confessed them to the world through his second letter to the church in Corinth. And imagine that your weaknesses were on display for billions of people to see. And that's exactly what happened with Paul. So if you're worried about looking foolish or weak, consider the most amazing men and women from, of God from your Bible who risked the same thing. James shows us that's it. James shows us that that's where we find healing. And lastly, we're going to talk about Jesus, the ultimate role model. 
who humbled himself to a point of death when he could have just stayed on his throne in heaven. And I want to close today by reading 2 Philippians 5 through 11. Or 2 Philippians, oh, 2 Philippians, no, Philippians 2, 5 through 11, which says this. In your life together, think the way Christ Jesus taught. He was like God in every way, but he did not think that his being equal with God was something for his own benefit. Instead, he gave up everything, even his place with God. He accepted the role of a servant, appearing in human form during his life as a man. He humbled himself by being fully obedient to God, even when that caused death, death on a cross. So God raised him up to the most important place and gave him the name greater than any other name. God did this so that every person will bow down to honor the name of Jesus. Everyone on, in heaven, on earth, and under the earth will bow. They will all confess Jesus Christ is Lord. And this will bring. Is everybody still here? <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to our Let's Chill stream. Uh, hopefully, y'all were kind of cool with that type of an intro. Um, I... What a, wonderful, what a wonderful way to start. Hey, Fabuki. What's up? Oh, there we are. Yeah, I thought that would be kind of kind of new. <laughs> um, I wasn't quite sure how kind of, you know, how well received I would say it was going to be. And um, yeah, I, I was still kind of like, yeah. Um, Because obviously, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea to hear the Bible, and especially when you're advertising, you know, the game. Uh, but I thought, you know, why not? Right? Why not? I don't really, I've never really gotten, I've shared bits and pieces of a stream or of a lesson before here, but I've never really got to, like, just fully showcase it. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. It's there. You know, it'll get it'll get the true people, true fans of me that want to stay. <laughs> but no, I I don't know. I I had this thought and I was like, you know what? Might as well. So hope hope you enjoyed that. Hope everybody enjoyed that that is watching either uh, live or later. Um, uh, let me do one thing really quick, um, just because I didn't do that, I couldn't really do that, uh, when I was, um, kind of going through everything, so just, I'm kind of wanting to make sure that I'm on track. So, but yeah, I hope, I hope everybody kind of enjoyed that. Um, like I said, it's, it's new. It's definitely a new thing, but I thought, you know, why not? So if you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, you'll just have to let me know response wise in the comments and the, in the chat, however you watch this on whether or not you'd like to start kind of the streams off with, with a cool word. Um, that was from this past Tuesday's lesson, so, uh, but yeah, hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. As you can tell, uh, by the title thumbnail, we are still playing Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, we are here for three hours tonight, so I am streaming till 11 at least, um, to start trucking through. We're gonna get there, we're gonna fly through it, we're gonna win, we're gonna beat the game, we're gonna rescue Peach, we're gonna do all that fun stuff. Sound good? Good. 
So I think I've given everybody enough time to know that I'm live and we're here and all that, which is Pog. So. Oh, I thought I remembered that from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that was Tuesday's lesson. Um, like I said, I've I've thought about sharing that type of thing before, but I. Um, you know, I never know how people will respond. And, you know, I don't like to force. I mean, I thousand percent get that I'm a Christian channel and I do Christian lessons and all that kind of stuff. But I never want to force anything when it comes to this. The gaming ministry isn't about learning the Bible. That's what those videos are for. But, you know, I don't really get to showcase them in my opinion. So I thought, why not? So they said there is a new world. Ah. Honey climb. Let's do it. So yeah, so I just I don't know. I kind of caught a whim of that, and I was like, let's try it. You know, worst things to worst, y'all hate me, y'all boycott me, I get canceled on Twitter, um, everything in between. <laughs> so, but I wasn't sure. The only thing I'm I'm not still 100% comfy with is kind of um, cold opening with it. Another throwaway galaxy. Yep. I mean, that's pretty much the... <laughs> it's pretty much going to be the game here on out. It's just... Stark left in. We're 18 away from the goal, so... <laughs> so... It's going to be the... It's going to be the game playing arena. You were canceled? You were quote unquote canceled on Twitter this week? Oh my gosh, what did you do? It takes a special person to get canceled on Twitter. I mean, if you're comfortable sharing, what did you do? Because I'm slightly curious. It was all in good fun, though. Oh, that's all. That's good. I've never heard of people getting canceled on Twitter and Twitter because of all. Oh. Um, I mean, I'm glad it was all in good fun. Oh, I spawned right here. Poip. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go. Go. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. Dead. <sighs> oh. I haven't been cancelled. Nobody has ever really criticized ah cancelled I was fangoing over a content creator liking my post and another person jokingly cancelled me oh that's no fun I mean I'm glad it was all in good fun but I mean shoot <laughs> if you can't fangirl over something you know, like what's what's life about am I right Babuki is over party. <laughs> we'll restore your career. Yeah, I see where I have to go. Give you the fly juice. Yes. <laughs> I don't want it. Didn't need that. So. No, it was fun. We were going back and forth all week and I ended up canceling him in return. Nice. Don't you dare come after me. No. Say, 
You know, speaking of fangirling, I do have a fun story over me fangirling over somebody. Um, it was funny how it happened, and really nobody who I was with kind of called me on it, um, even to date. So if any of my youth are watching, yeah, I'm going to get called out now. Um, we went to Winter Jam. Um, two years ago, three years ago now, three years ago. And this was like Danny Goki, Holland, um, Ledger, um, gosh, who else was there? New song, this big Christian concert. Fantastic. I am a huge Danny Goki fan through and through. Any of my kids will tell you that that's not the fan girling experience I'm talking about, but, <laughs> um, the f f the funnier part of it, the more thing I'm like slightly embarrassed about, <laughs> which is gonna be like it's gonna make it hard for me to actually tell the story without being like, ugh. Um, Ledger was performing, and if you don't know, I'm dumb. <laughs> if you don't know who Ledger is, uh, she is the drummer for the band Skillet, um, with John Cooper and them, John and Corey. And um, she has her own side project, yada, yada, yada. I'm getting off track. Um, she came in on, like, this chariot. So cool. And I was doing, you know, the you know, the ASL I love you because, you know, I was just in the moment. And she responded back to me and did it to me. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> and honestly, that night, that moment has still stuck in my head. Like, so has me so giddy, like, three weeks three years later um and it's like uh, I did not... <laughs> shit <laughs> and nobody the funnier part to me though about the whole thing is that you know all my kids were there i mean all of my regular uh my regular top and maniac top maniac and the top maniac. okay um and two two uh two parents who would call me out and make fun of me for it with every stretch of their being. Um, I started listening to Ledger music religiously. <laughs> I mean, I listened to Ledger's entire EP on repeat. I listened to, um, you know, any new stuff she has coming out. I mean, I've listened to it so religiously. So, how? And nobody's called me out and like, why are you listening to all this? Like, suddenly. And it's all because of that moment. A thousand percent, it is all because of that moment is why I got into Ledger and Skillet and all that. And it's, I know it's a, an adorable reason, but it's like, oh my gosh. But I will say, I just as, uh, fan, I, I just as hard fangirled for, um, Power lines are keeping my friend locked inside. Hit them with something to cut off. Oh, okay. And, um. <sighs> like I said, it is kind of embarrassing for me as, like, a. Please tell me that wasn't it. Thank you, O3 Freedom. I'll show you a shortcut to your reward and transform. Um, I just, I don't know why I've never truly, like, shared that story. But, I mean, it is the, it, it was just something that I am, like, still nerding out over. Oh, <laughs> Nope. Okay. Oh, just stop it. So yeah, that's my kind of fangirly story. The only other time I've really like legitimately fangirled is Oh my gosh, and this is gonna bring back memories. Um so cute, I just can't get over it. 
shush. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. Um, the, the other thing that I can think of is I was watching a very old uh, Jacksepticeye video. Well, very old today. It was like 2016. And it was uh, a medieval engineer's video. Which I can't remember like entire... Whoops. I can't remember like entirely what that game was. Um, I think it was like... Uh, either way. He let, he. I think he said something at the end of the video, like, "Oh, leave a comment, like, what what I should build next," and I, I commented something. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was he was playing The Sims at the time, and I was like, "Oh, you should build The Sims house," and I got a response from him, and it was oh, oh I'm sad. Um, I got a response from him that was like, "Oh my gosh, that would be so hard to do," and I'm sitting here like, "Ah, he responded!" <laughs> like, and I hate to be that that type of well i don't know like i yeah oh my gosh i'm gonna die down here uh so it was, that's like my other biggest like as close to meeting cool celebrities as i'm going to be um but yeah <laughs> so there's there's my there's my fangirl embarrassing moments uh for you Oh, I gotta do this in one spell swoop. Okay, let's go. Jacksepticeye feels more of like a, uh, feels more like more of a friend than a god amongst men that cannot be attained. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, Jack definitely has like that big, I guess I like that big, like big brother type vibe, uh, to me. Like he just wants to, you know, do good, be a good person, all that kind of stuff. And I totally dig that. Um, because that is entirely how I how I like um, done my stuff is you know I've always wanted to be the big brother oh please give me coins why is there no coins ever when I need them so that's okay on that side Oh, coins. <laughs> you know, for this being a shortcut to my room. Whoa, cool guys, don't look at explosions. For this being a, a shortcut to my reward, it, it sure doesn't feel like it. Oh, nice. Man, I haven't thought about his Cuphead video in forever. That whole Cuphead series. I've thought about uh, getting Cuphead for the Switch and playing it, but I remember how terrible I am at games, and it's like, I don't want anybody to be put through that type of torture. Where is the star? Am I going to a boss fight? I'm going to a boss fight. Man, I forgot all about his Cuphead. I forgot about that game, in essence. Stop. 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 Run away! Run away! Am I supposed to ground pound on top? But him. That's what I'm supposed to do. Sorry. Uh, man, I did the Cuphead Basic Challenge recently with Stefan. Maybe. What's up, Corp uh, Corpocalypse on Twitch? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. 
glad you're here enjoying my mediocre <laughs> Mario Galaxy playthrough. How are you? And I guess, Babuki, how are you as well? I don't know if I've truly asked that question like I normally would. Oh, that's good. See, Corp Apocalypse? Told you. Yo, we got a Twitch. This is the best Mario, Mario game, IMHO. Oh. Yeah, I can get behind that statement. It's been, it's definitely one of my top five. Granted, this is the first time I'm playing it, um, but I am really enjoying myself. Um, and have been. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm doing all right. Um, I'm supposed to eat in 20 minutes, but I'm not hungry yet. Eh, eat anyway. Don't force it, but eat. Also, your voice volume is a little low. I'm having trouble hearing you. Well, let me turn me up a little bit. All right, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. Okay, is that a little better? Turn me up just a scooch, and move uh, move my, my mouth closer to the mic. Yeah, cool. What are you going to eat? Corpocalypse? Yo, we got a Twitcher. Yes, we do. And I am thankful to have a Twitcher. Because I twitch me. I don't know. I was thinking eggs. Ooh, that does sound good. What kind of eggs? That's that's the big question. That's a million dollar question. What kind of eggs? Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it, it. Oh, come on. Get there. Probably scrambled. Scrambled would be good. Do you put anything in them or just plain... Uh, scrambled eggs. You get you get them fancied. You fancy them up. Oh my. There we go. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Get in there. Thank you. Get there. Thank you. And go. Uh, go. Is that it? Yes. Heck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. probably saying I don't know. We have any cheese? Uh, on a podcast, they were saying they put milk in it, but I usually don't. Oh. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually heard um, milk in eggs makes them like fluffier. So I've heard that before, but maybe. Um, Fabuki on YouTube says, I tried to replay Galaxy 2 recently, but I can only stomach f f five stars before it was, <laughs> like, I could be playing the first Galaxy, you know, fair enough. I haven't played Galaxy 2, but I can't, so I can't vouch, but I agree with you because you have been my Galaxy expert. Um, Fabuki also says, scrambled is pog with some hot sauce. That would be good. Um, Corp, uh, Corpocalypse says, although I'll probably put garlic, oregano, turmeric, ginger, red pepper, and black pepper. Holy moly. You are insane, my friend. But that's good. Uh, Fubuki says, Mario Rule 3. Yep. Corp says, yeah, Fluffy. Is this a Facebook, Twitch, dual stream? This is a Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch tri stream. <laughs> and then... Uh, Buckets, uh, Bucket 55 on Twitch. Welcome to the stream. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is pretty good. I can't play. I haven't played it, so therefore I have no true bias. But from what my, from what our Fubuki on YouTube says, I am the Galaxpert. Bow down to me, and he has been here through good majority of the series, and he's kind of helped guide me through stuff. So I have to take the Galaxpert's view on it, uh, but I cannot take my own uh, view on it. And uh, question and the corp uh, corp says the spices are for health reasons oh interesting uh they're into that sweaty <laughs> they're into that sweating that they have to flag trying hard wtaf twitch what you mean on that last one corp they're into that sweaty they're that into sweaty that they have to flag trying hard 
You're tilted. Do my message again. Oh, they did? Nothing came to me. Let me see. Yeah, nothing came to me. Oh, I did. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Yeah, I do have... Um, you're good now. I do have um, a very heavy uh, profanity filter on, which I'll... I'll have to adjust after the stream tonight on Twitch, uh, just because this is a Christian channel. It's for my church. Uh, it's our new gaming ministry that we're launching. So uh, the profanity filters high. So sorry. Um, I don't quite understand why they, why the auto mods block that, but who knows? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Let's do that third star. So, yeah, I'm surprised they flagged tryhard. I don't quite get that. Oh, Fabuki's over on Twitch now. I've transitioned because everybody is here. You know what? Big Preach. I was going to ask. You're going to ask about the cross? That one? Yep. I am a Christian working. I am a youth and children's director uh, that works at a local Methodist church. United Methodist Church. So... Um, during the pandemic, we priest by the clothes. No, this is actually an Unus Honest shirt. Um, back from the redacted channel that is no longer, um, here with us. So, but, uh, no, I am just a youth and children's ministry director. Um, we started this kind of gaming ministry back at the start of the pandemic. Well, back like halfway through the pan. Well, I guess we're still going through it, but back in like October and, um, you know, we've finally, we're getting kind of a good following, so we've been kind of picking it up and running with it, and uh, that's why we're tri-streaming, we're tri-hards, we're the tri-hard tri-hard tri tri-streamers. <laughs> so, and actually, um, at the beginning of the stream, I did, uh, I showcased a lesson that I taught this week. Um, which you can uh, either go back through and view it or you can go to our facebook instagram or youtube and watch it there because we are on all platforms okay so now i go over here then 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 over here over here over here over here over here, I'm assuming from here. I've been reading Jesus Calling lately. What what book is that about? Well, what is that about? I guess I should assume I know what it's about, but what what is that about? Wait, what? Can I not? Hmm. I grew up pretty much not religious and then reading Poor Richard's Almanac by Ben Franklin made me realize that God and religiousness aren't as irrational as they're made out to be. Yes. Yes. Christianity is not as... What's the word I want to use? Like rigid? As a lot of different Christians can make it? In my opinion? Jesus Calling is a devotional. Oh, okay. It's just got daily quotes like a paragraph. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, definitely Christianity is not as um, rigid. A lot of times what makes the religion rigid, oh gosh, that was hard to think to say, is um, church. It's the church setting. Uh, because a lot of times different denominations will impose different views and different interpretations on what the Bible states and can cause a lot of discord um, through many different things. So at least that's what I've 
personally experienced. And especially kind of now with the Methodist Church, um, because we're going through a very tough um, belief, I, I guess I'll call it a belief battle um, right now. My favorite quotes lately are, he who resolves to men hereafter resolves not to men now. And happiness is the daughter of virtue. Yes, I've heard I've heard of that one. Are those both uh, Proverbs uh, scripture? Or is that quotes from the devotional, I guess I should say. So, because I swear I've heard happiness is the daughter of virtue before. And that seems like it's a Proverbs scripture. So, hopefully everybody's kind of cool about talking about religion. Um, like I said, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to diminish anybody who may have uh, grown up dealing with religious trauma or anything of the sort like that. Um, so, I know, um, like I said, all that kind of stuff. So, I don't want to trigger anybody by saying, you know, any kind of trigger words that can get religious trauma flared up for them, so. But it is a Christian channel. We're bound to talk about Christianity sooner or later. So, uh, These are Poor Richard's Almanac, but I think a lot of Poor Richard's Almanac is mostly Luther's Bible and philosophy. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it reminded me... I, I'm like 90% confident. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die to the spider because I... Well, oh, forget it. Um, it reminded me a lot of Proverbs because... Um, kind of the main thing with Proverbs is um, okay. I gotta pause uh, I was in a stream earlier and they were not and they were saying not to talk about writing a religion or politics so we started to let's write about the political aspect of religion <laughs> Nice. Um, I don't mind talking about it. I, I religion at least, because I I am relatively knowledgeable about the Bible and different teachings of it, um, politics and all that extra and all that others. I'm not knowledgeable of it. I don't mind talking about it in the sense of I'm not forcing an agenda. Um, I am I, anything I would state is either pure speculation or my own opinion, and I will always attempt to be as um, open and transparent to say, I don't know this, but this is my feeling. Um, religion, I don't mind, and I don't mind anybody in the chat wanting to talk about it too. Um, as long as you're civil and peaceful with each other, that's all I really care about. Um, again, yes, I'm a Christian streamer. Yes, I work at a United Methodist Church, all that kind of stuff. I'm not here to force that religion on you. I'm here to just have fun play games enjoy company with each other hang out and chill so that's fine that is funny though corp can i call you corp like because it because it, it's, it's weirdly like hard for me to say otherwise what am i supposed to do here my galaxpert help me oh my gosh go Oh, I think I see it now. Uh, yeah, get him on the butt. Whoa, what just happened? More cockalypse. I had to think for a minute if you were. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Thank you, Cor. Uh, thank you, Cor. Cor Cockalips, for the follow. And you better not just be saying that just to get me to be a.
Are we done? Why is the alert still going off? Got it before I finish typing. I knew it. You guys would try and do that to me. And I know you so well. <laughs> ah! Okay. You broke my you broke my notifications apparently. Is it going on for you guys where the sound is just like going absolutely haywire? Because if so, A, I'm sorry, uh, and B, I'm, I'm blaming, I'm blaming, uh, poor, uh, first, because he broke it, and C, I'll fix it as soon as I'm done with this battle. May Twitch be cutting out? I'm not losing any frames on my end, although my system is going absolutely haywire, or my CPU is running at, at full capacity, kind of low overall. Okay. Uh, what is, should be nothing on the browser. Uh, oh, Fabuki, thanks uh, also for the follow. I just saw that. Okay. I need to make sure, because I do have the streams on in the background. And I think I'm going to close out of them just to make sure that that's not. What's causing it? Go make eggs. Go enjoy your eggs. G make them good. Make them tasty for all of us, because I know we're all hungry, I think, by now. So, okay. Are we good? Did the audio stop, finally? Good, but thanks for... Uh, never had live problems on YouTube. I It could also be Mayan trying to stream it, multi-stream it that way. So... Yeah, it's also Friday night, so I'm sure Twitch is, uh, their servers are slowly dying because of it. So, but I, my CPU is running higher than normal today. So, but I think I fixed it. So I just have to bear with it. Um, got it before I could finish typing. Oh, I've caught up now. I thought you, I thought Corp was the one that said that, or poor, I should say. Um, so, okay, let me know if things are finally kind of settling down. If I need to, we can pause and I'll, I'll make sure that everything's working properly. Um, but, uh, if everything's settled down, I'm going to, we're going to breathe for a minute, um, and go from there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so. And I will, um, I mentioned, or you guys mentioned it to me last week, and I just fell through on this promise, but I will, uh, for the next stream, I will try to, you're back on your homeland for now? Dope. Um, I will try and get the multi-stream chat uh, available on screen for everybody, so that way... Um, everybody on the different platforms can watch it however uh, from whatever platform they're on without any issue um, I completely forgot to do that and because I'm streaming late into the night um, I didn't start my prep until like 7 and I was afraid of diving too deep into it um, now and not being fully prepared for it by um by the time we started so that's part of the reason why other reason was i'm lazy i mean if we're gonna be honest um but i promise by next stream i will have it there that i will that i will give you my full fledged promise so that's been good man this is the most i will say out of any stream over the last five six months this has got to be the most active it's been, which is fantastic. I'm so happy. Um, oops. I'm so happy to see it this active. And oh my gosh, I'm saying it and I'm going to tear up. And I hate that. <laughs> so dang emotional. 
Um, but in all seriousness, I'm just like, ah, it's so cool. King Caliente, spicy return. King Caliente. Did I face him before? I mean, obviously, if he's making a spicy return, but... Oh my gosh, why do I remember this level? I remember the Grums playing this level, and I remember it's a pain. I'm glad I found this place. I'm glad you're here. I'm, you, This community is has been so awesome. And the amount of people I've been able to reach outside of, you know, my youth and my my own kids. It's been like, ah, oh, you guys are just so cool. You guys are cool. You guys are cooler than I am, which is not fair. Actually, no, it is fair because you guys deserve to be way cooler than me. Um, and the only thing I ask is that you teach me your ways. Teach me the ways of the Jedi. Okay. Just, would you just, could you just? I fell. I know I could get, I could get emotional about this. Um, one of these days, I keep threatening it, and I think I just am going to do it after um, we finish this game. Oh man, I couldn't. Make um, I want to do a sit-down stream. And really just, um, like, I want to do, like, the one thing that I keep thinking of is, like, do a personality a test, but just to do a deep dive personality thing, like, you know, give you guys insight about me, not that I'm hiding anything, but that just, I don't know, I just think it'd be fun. So, I think I'm gonna do that after this, after we finish Galaxy. Right, come here. Hit. Well, that didn't work. Fuck. <sighs> Tell us your innermost secrets. No, I, I will state this, and I love you guys dearly. <laughs> but um, I have had a problem with oversharing. And it's not that I don't want to hide anything, because that is definitely not the case. Okay, so I can just go back the way I came. Yeah, that's obviously what I've been supposed to do. Um, but there are some problems that I am... <laughs> Looked at the chat for two seconds. Um, there are some problems that I'm dealing with that I can't really publicly talk about. Um... I mean, I'm willing to talk about, you know, my anxiety and how I've dealt with that over the past seven years and, you know, my different rounds of depression. I mean, I could talk about that because, you know, I know I'm not the only one that goes through it. And, I mean, I can offer unsolicited advice without a hitch. Um, but there are there are current, current things that I'm dealing with that I would obviously love to talk about because I verbally process um, and I have not had the time. I, I shouldn't say the time. I have not been able to get over here to verbally process things lately. <laughs> Stay with me. Just, uh, uh, yop. Yop. Um. So once I'm more comfortable with it, I'm, I've sat with it now for a couple weeks, and I'm, I, I'm getting more comfortable with it, um, but I, I gotta have some more time. Which I know is not like the hugest deal, <laughs> but. No, I did that on purpose. Bullet billions, yep. What is the thing here? Ow. Ew, ew, ew. Am I supposed to hit these back at these guys? Ow. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Obviously, avoid the fire ones and hit the actual fruit. Ooh. 
Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you have any questions on, you know, mental health, I'm not an expert. I am not qualified as a counselor, psychiatrist, therapist, anywhere in between. I'm just a guy who's had experiences in the world and is willing to share. So, throwing that out there. I am not here to diagnose. So, or if you have questions about, um, you know, the Bible, I, I guess I've never really talked about that and you know talk about my own upbringing and you know how the bible can be very oh we did face him um Can I smack these little dudes? My Galaxbert. Oh, this is a Bowser situation. So mild. Ah! Did my Galaxpert expert leave me? Okay, A rude and B how dare. Expert, seriously leave me, Fabuki. Or are you doing something else like you're allowed to do, but not pay attention to me? Oh gosh, I'm over there. Wait, what? The little blue flames that were spitting out. Um, could I have hit those? Or was I just supposed to dodge them? Because I wasn't sure. Doesn't matter now. No. I thought so after a while, but I was like, I don't know. I didn't know if I spun and they like blew out of flame or something. So you're still here for the next 40 minutes? Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. Hey, did you ever get your uh, mod status for the one channel you were telling me about last week? Or, yeah, last week. Right? Am I am I remembering that correctly? You dodge them as they can only be killed by... Oh, by torches. Interesting. Okay. Galaxy complete. You did get mod status? Dude. Nice. I'm happy for you. It's awesome. I remember you telling me about it. So, but I remember... I think you said last week, too, that... Uh, I'll, I'll mention it after the plot. Now that we've recovered so many grand stars, the beacon is almost too bright to look at. Once the observatory works as a starship again, we can bring you to the center of the universe. Then we can get you to your special one. We just need a few more power stars. You must help us. All right, fine. Um, I just remembered how, uh, you couldn't make it. or you They didn't stream or they canceled stream, so you uh, were going to stick around. I could be so totally wrong. And if I, um, but there's a letter from Princess Peach. <gasps> Did I get more one-ups? Lord knows I'm going to need them. <laughs> okay, I will be honest, though. In an hour's worth of this, between all the conversations by uh, Corpocalypse, uh, you, Fubuki, uh, whoever the other one was that I can't think of, if you're still here, I'm so sorry, but my chat has scrolled by already. Um, yeah, that's what happened, so I got it the next day. Gotcha. All right. So I guess we go to the garden. See what happens. The lights are back on. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Yeah, you guy in case you starve it. 
burst with snaky happy burst then transform. Need a thousand. I think I have a thousand. Oh, I have plenty. Yeah, might as well. He's a hungry boy. That man of court apocalypse was here. Now I see all the nasty. Uh, now I see all the nasty messages that people try to send on YouTube or send that YouTube blocks. So that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is fun. It's funny to me. Um, because um, we'll get different comments on our YouTube videos. Or we'll get different comments for our videos on YouTube. And they're all spam comments. Like, I don't think out of any YouTube video I've done in the past 18 months that... Oh my gosh, this looks chaos at best. Um, that I have gotten a legitimate comment on YouTube. Everything has been spam, and I believe they go to porn. So, and I think I only know that because I clicked on one link just out of curiosity. And boy, did I regret it, but I didn't even notice that move. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, no, thank you. Wait, how? They're just spam. Wait, how what? <laughs> how have I seen them? Or how did they get to be porn? I and mean, how did I know that? What, what, there's a lot of hows that are, that are called into question here, I know. Oh my gosh, don't do this. No! Oh, man. Uh, booze. How are they so desperate that they want to get with any other booze they see? <laughs> oh, I meant the spam comment thing. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. YouTube bots. It's, it's the Russians. What can I say? Um, no one all serious as I have no clue. <laughs> um, I just clicked on one of the links once and I, I, I'm like 90% confident it took me to a porn site and I'm like, well, you know, that's cool. <laughs> because, you know, that's, that's exactly what a Christian channel needs is just the, the, the link to, to learn about your lust. And it's like, <laughs> like, stop. I mean, thankfully YouTube for me, I think. My spam filter stuff has turned like to max, so I don't get them much anymore. Um, I think it's been a few months since I've gotten it, but it's like, ugh, whatever. Uh, oh frick! I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. This level's tough. This level's hard. <laughs> I'm just so terrible at running like that. So I guess, uh, Fubuki, you were here at the open. <laughs> Self, don't jump there. <laughs> um, since you were here at the open, you can give me the uh, feedback. Uh, what did you think about starting the stream off with a lesson like that? Um, w do you think it works best as a as a cold open, or should I come in, you know, say hi, all that kind of stuff, and then 
uh, frick, and then uh, go into it. Because I thought about that too. Um, I had a comment on a vid, and it's timestamped to a part where I said I hated a character they liked to a vid that said I feel like. Oh, uh, you know, that's creative. Like, that kind of stuff, I wouldn't mind. Um, you know, like I always tell my, my youth, like, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to say something's bad, then, you know, give me a reason to validate it, and that that would do it. That, that would do it a thousand percent for me. I mean, I would have to be, you know, the, the, the professional in me would have to be a little, like, irate, but... Um, the the human in me would actually absolutely love that <laughs> oh my gosh i suck at this Frick. um yeah you should probably say something at first you're just gonna confuse people who thought it was a galaxy yeah that was that was definitely my thought um behind it but i did i did kind of watch well streamlabs view account and uh it didn't sway much there was one person which could have been you um and then i went to two and then back down to one and that was as much it kind of frick that was much as I kind of wavered, but I, I definitely see that, and I will probably will do that next time. Oh gosh, I game overed. I got my overed. Whoops. I think that's my first game over. Wow, kicks me back out to the menu. Doesn't even just place me back in the world. Wow, my feelings are hurt just a little bit, but that's okay. I guess I better just go to the gardens. I don't think I'm as prepared to do that. Um, but I will. I was actually going to do it because I'm doing two lessons now a week. Uh, just because I... No, oh, sure! Um, just because I had the extra time and uh, I got the whole series done. So I was going to do like one at the beginning, one at the, one at the end. Uh, but maybe I'll just do... Why does this look familiar? Oh, it's up here. Oh, this is gonna be that's an idea. This is gonna, yeah, I don't know yet. Oh gosh, what do you, what do you know that I don't? Oh, Rosalina. I've been here before, right? I can, I, oh gosh, this is new content. This planet, it's very dear to me. I looked forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with, uh, with you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. I never thought all this would happen. Wow. Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you... I have all hundred purple coins, I may trust you too. This is a red star. It holds the power of red lumas. The really amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin mid-air. While pressing B, you can pick the direction you want to fly with L. Go to hundred... Wait, what? Whoa! Is whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at this. But whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Ah! I guess I better come down. Whoa, that was dope. 
Okay, that was definitely heckin' cool. This, okay, so this is from the beginning of the game. I thought this place looked super familiar. Gosh, how am I gonna get there? Uh, B. Nope, it's uh, B. There. Okay, uh... Gosh, how do you steer this? Is there a time limit to this, or am I just good to go? Yeah, this is dope! Although I really hate that the camera doesn't want to work with me. I mean, I get it, because I don't know why I assume it would now, when it hasn't. Uh, so, huh. I just need not to be so, uh... The power- oh, the power-up has the timer, but not the mission. Oh, good. Oh, this is cool. There's just... I think... I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm weirdly, like, fascinated by this. Shut up, phone. I'm streaming. Who's getting a hold of me at a time like this? Whoever you are, how dare you. So is this kind of like this... Well, how do I want to phrase it? Is this, is this kind of like the swimming mechanics where it's like, I don't have to... Be like super forceful with it. And I promise I'm saying it in a way that makes sense for my brain. So I'm I'm not trying to just have you tell me everything. Part of me is like having a very rough time. I'm just trying to get a hold. I can't adjust the camera. I think that's the thing that's starting me off is that it's the camera. I'm sorry if I go so quiet here to anybody watching. Uh, I, I, my brain's in go mode. No, 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 no. Oh, that, oh, that's what that meant. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this makes so much more sense. I did, fr I completely forgot all about this. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I, I, I completely forgot all about that. Uh, B. Shows you how well my intention span works anymore. Oh my god. Oh wait. I was just about ready to complain again. It's like, no, I was just taught how to do it properly. Thirteen left. We can do this. There's three. I'll get rid of at a later time. Oh, oh, frick. Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. What? What I do? Oh, 
What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Oh, the thanks, Dad. Sorry. My bad attempt at humor. Silence intensified. I'm serious. My brain is... My brain is overwhelmed right now. I'm trying to... <laughs> and there's part of me that my brain is like, shut up and focus so you can do good for the people. And the other part is me is like, no, I can't shut up those people. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. Only six left. Five. Oh, oh, frick. Oh, dang it, timer. I mean, this is honestly, I mean, th it's the swimming all over again. It's my brain is having such a hard time adjusting. Okay, there's three. Okay, I know where the last three are for whatever that means. When you spin uh, while flying. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I did that once. I did that once. So, like, if I go. Well, <laughs> yeah, so if I do that, then it works. So, like, if I go here. Here and then what? Yeah. Thank you. No, no, no. Okay, that was kind of bog. <laughs> I did do that once, um, but it didn't register with me. Like, hey, that's a thing that can happen. Dive bomb. Um, because I remember doing that, and it did register in my head. Like, oh yeah. Oh come on. I skirted by that speedrun strats, right? Hey, you know what? I'll take it. Okay, which one is it? It's this one. Can I not just... Okay. Let me readjust. Readjust. Oh, I can hold it! You told me that, didn't you? I didn't realize I could actually hold Hold and adjust. <laughs> okay. I'm alright. Everything's okay. If I... It's just... Uh, yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! I did it! You did? Yeah, I figured you did. <laughs> I figured you did. It was my brain just being dumb and not understanding things. I grab it. Woo! Oh my gosh, sorry for going so quiet, but my brain needed every ounce, every cell to adjust to that. Just... I did. <laughs> Hungry Luma has appeared. Where? Oh, what's up there? Oh, is that where I was? Stupid. Say thank you. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Because <laughs> I understand how frustrating that could be. It's like, he told you right there. Why don't you listen? It's like, it's a, my, my brain doesn't work. I swear it. <laughs> this is almost like watching me play for the first time. Is that is that's a good thing? I hope, right? <laughs> Lol. Except without your mom helping you to do the levels. <laughs> Sorry, just don't be my friend, please. It's a secret. 
Whoa. Whoa, this is pretty. I want to go out. Let me out. Ah, uh, you're doing better than me in that regard. <laughs> oh, you know I had to harass you about that one. You know I had to do it to you. The underground ghost ship. Oh, I remember this. I remember the layout of this. This all feels familiar. Question is, well, I remember how to do it. We're currently on vacay, or I mean galactic survey duty. Please be patient with us. Uh huh. Oh, I have to hit him in the butt. Butt hit. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It is kind of cute, though. Uh, I'm assuming I want to go there. Oh my gosh, my brain. Did I miss any? Oh, I got them all. I'm a big boy now. I can catch the bunnies all by myself without breaking the Wiimote. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I need the fire flower. What's happening? Your mom. Your mom 166. Thank you for following. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. That confused me. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I need the, fi uh, the fire flower. Oh, is that the garden? Was that the main garden? <laughs> My very original username, Fabuki. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to your mom, 166. She's going to have to ground you. And that's something that I don't have a lot of authority over, so. Seriously, the fire flower lasts for all of two minutes. I don't mean any harm. I know you didn't. I know you don't. Since you're on YouTube and they're on Twitch, I don't want them to think that. Uh, oh, no, oh, my brainium. Um, I don't want them to think somebody's going to be attacking them. So, I know that, but that's... Call me the overprotective dad of the group. What can I say? Uh, uh... I, uh... I, I, um... I, uh... I missed the, uh... I missed the turn there. I goofed it. I straight goofed it. Please tell me I didn't goof it here. Just in time. Get out of my way, melon. I'm going on an adventure. 
shut up, Kamek. Collect all this. I guess I'm gonna go see the toad. Is that a toad with glasses? That is the most adorable toad I think I've ever seen. No, 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 go away. Go away, water. Go away, water. Thank you. See if it's serving. Oh, underground. I'm gonna have to go underground. So if I wanna go down, head up. Good, I'm good, I'm good. Sorry, I'm still bad at reading tones. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I as soon as I said it too, I was like, I, I forgot about that. So we'll just we'll go onus on both of us. So, but that's yeah, I completely forgot you had said that. So that's also on me. Wait, can I not go through that? Right row. Uh. Uh oh. Uh, down, please. And just at some point. Oh, I, I mean, I, I fully get it, but. Uh, air, 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 air. Camera work with, not against. Right, I pooped it. So. Ah well. Oh good. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to go all the way down to the bottom. Cause it did say ghost ship, and that is a ship at the bottom. Or did I go to the right place because of the arrow? Camera. Okay. I'm gonna head straight for the air. Rush air. Oh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Oh my gosh, was this up here the whole time? Oh, both are? Uh, right, I, I meant more so for whatever star I'm currently working on. But now I kind of see that they are both right spot. Huh. Coin, please. Coin, please! It's not a coin, please. Coin, please. Thank you. Coin, please. Thank you. Secret stars are neat. Yeah. Is that what I'm heading towards? Or is that bottom one the secret star? I really don't know. I'm a little... I'm, my brain hurts. I think after that last level, my brain just hurts. Oh. <gasps> Mega comic. Oh, that's Mrs. Comic. Am I supposed to go to her to be here? No, this is the main star? Okay. Oh. I remember what to do with these. Camilla. Oh. Is that really her name? 
So that's kind of adorable. <laughs> What's not going to be adorable is me dying. <laughs> Golden pipe. Because that's truly a pipe. Get the drop on her. Oh, I didn't get the drop on her. <laughs> Not as good as Cammy. Oh, yeah, Cammy Koopa. I remember that name. Gosh, I haven't thought about that name in forever. <laughs> Hashtag Stan Cammy. Hashtag we stand cami. I like it. Get it trending. Use your cancel culture. Get it trending. Is that how that works? I'm just throwing out terms like I know how they work. When I know absolutely nothing. Where did the green show? Oh, gotcha. Damn, my butt, my butt, my butt, my butt. Okay, kids are dead. Sixteen followers on Twitter. I have no influence there. Hey, you have followers, therefore you have influence. Boy, howdy, have I learned that over the course of the pandemic of, of the online world. But uh, you have followers, you have influence. I mean, the variety of platforms that we have. Um, it's been weird to understand like the level of influence that you can have with a small crowd i mean like twitch i mean we gained three followers tonight already and that puts us at like thir no 11 and like our instagram only has 13 no 17 followers our youtube has 13 subs i mean facebook has like 121 followers but most of our church is on facebook so that's inherently why but you have one person that listens to you, that follows you, that listens to what you say, you have a following. And you have influence. Sorry. I needed the agua. Excuse me. Didn't mean to burp in the mic. Infiltrating the dreadnought. What is a dreadnought? I've heard that term before. The wasser. I needed the wasser. Wasser is good for my bones. Ow! That's electric. Scooby! Oh, 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 there we go. 
So I was playing um, Origami King some more. Oh, gosh. Uh, stop. Stop! Oh, oh, no, I died. Imagine drinking water, right? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. It's a conspiracy theory. That's all water is. It's made by the government to 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 uh to trick you into being healthy it's they're they're planting microchips into the water they're turning the freaking frogs gay man um but i was playing uh origami king i could not get over how many nintendo references are in that game like, I was so surprised to see a Metroid reference. Um, I, I think a Kirby reference was made already. I mean, I'm only like two-thirds of the way in. But I just can't get over how many references Nintendo made to, like, their old systems, too. And it's like, oh, it's so good. Like, I love satire like that. And it's like, yes. So they had the Metroid mask in the Shogun Studios, and I put it on, or I wore it, and uh, he was going crazy like Samus would, and it's like, <gasps> yes, and it's like, oh, that is so cool. <laughs> like that, that, that type of stuff makes me excited because it, it just shows that like Nintendo really would branch any of their series together. I would love to see an adventure game where it is Link and Mario going to save Zelda and Peach in a Breath of the Wild style format. If that happens, I die. I mean, I just love that little just nod to be like, yes, this is our product. It's like you don't see many, many studios that would put like that type of intended love and care into that just made me so made my heart so full when I saw that I can unfortunately stay for only five more minutes no, that's, you're good man you're good I will say though there is a point in the game where I cry and I'm sure you'll know the part it's when it's when Bamas himself sacrificed his own life to save Olivia. Spoilers, I guess I should say, for anybody who hasn't played or seen the Origami King. I cried. I didn't cry cry, but I teared up. Because it was so emotional. But I was like, oh. And then this part where you're, where Olivia's sitting by herself in the mine. And, oh gosh. Nope, 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 don't, don't, nope, 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 nope. And she's sitting by herself in the mine and just in tears and it's like <laughs> and then you're, you're listening to to baba just be like this is what you need to do make her laugh and it's like no like no i can't no Wait a minute. Is this oh yeah this would be the direction i guess you're making me cry i'm sorry i don't mean to <laughs> it's just it was just one of those like so you, Mario puts on the Goomba mask and just does his little thing, and it's like, <laughs> no, it's like so cute. Like who allowed them to be this cute? <laughs> oh, I get what I have to do. I know what I must do. Uh, do it. <laughs> I want to. Like I just can't, I just couldn't get over it. like it's a Mario game like how many Mario games can say that like you you can ball like a baby for and again that's that level of ouch it's that level of just like tender hardness it's like yes this is how it should be top ten Samus <laughs> yep it really was. And then I, I did I did the thing where you can go back to the rocks and uh, after you after Olivia cheers up and um, you can check uh, the rocks as Mario and Olivia's like is everything okay and it's like 
My, your friend was right there. And it's, it's like, oh, I just can't get over how full my heart was. I just, I'm a sucker for a sob story. And that's just like, oh, my friends. So, and it just, all that stuff just makes me so much more excited to play that game. And I, I'll, I would play that until my heart's content. That game, I think, wins my replayability factor. Tenfold. Because I would replay it just to play the story again. I mean, it... Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> I know I bought so much of Xenoblade 2, even the, even if I bought so much of Xenoblade 2, even if the gameplay was garbage. I mean, you get the right scenarios for a good story. I'll cry to anything. I mean, heck, I cried today, just be frick. I cried today just because ch you chat beat was so full. It's like what the game. Oh gosh, a game over twice in a in a stream. I haven't. I think that's my first two game overs overall. I don't think I'm ready for the garden world. Me thinks I may go back and do something else. For some reason, I just can't get that timing down. We're only 12 stars away from the final one. It's insanity. Anyway, I'd love to stay, but unfortunately I cannot. Bye, Fabuki. Thanks for stopping in. I'm, I'll be back next week. I'm here until 11 tonight, too, if you if you decide to come back. I don't know what your plans were, but... Um, see you next week. See ya! We'll, we'll be playing more Super Mario Galaxy. That is for certain. So, bye bye Thanks for stopping in. Much appreciado. Oh, so now I can just fly up here. Oh, that's pretty, Pog Champ. Oh, sneaky one ups. Sneaky little hobbitses. All you can eat mushrooms. All right, let's go see what other trouble we can get into. Time to see what other trouble. We got 12 stars left before we have to get into the final battle. We got still got about an hour's worth of stream to go. So we're going to just make as much progress as we can. Good egg. Where are we at? Got to get the honey hive. Probably can't do anything since the comet's not on its way. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry for being gross like that. But that's done, that's done, that's done. Yeah, I can't do anything here. So, I mean, knock out the easy ones, right? So this was level two, so let's head to level two. Did I not open up this world? Okay, those tasty starbids feed me them and I'll transform them. 400. Oh, well, then let's do it. Okay. 
Yeah, I figured we'd just knock out the easy ones. Right? Right? Chat. The sling pod. Let's -a go. May have to take a quick bathroom break. May have to take a quick bathroom break. Um, oh, I see. Oh, it's just one of these. Okay, I can. Ow. Nope. Don't you love how instant karma is so instant? I was just about ready to say, I can do this. No, I can't. Pretty smart. Don't be an idiot. Let's not talk about that, guys. Okay? Let's just shush. Everybody hush. Hush, hush, hush. I can do this. I'm just being dumb. I don't have good like object permanence, so I can't judge angles like that. Okay. No, what? I'm getting triggered. Okay. Maybe this just means I, I need to go for the bathroom break. Okay, I got three lives left. left. Um, say this. I game over in the next two lives, um, I'm gonna take a bathroom break and then come back to this. games are supposed to be fun right they're just supposed to be fun and cool and happy and fun and cool cool and fun and happy and you know now right like right now I, i'm just i just have the big depression you know y'all heard the great depression that's me that's my life that's my autobiography title okay i just need to you know i need to just change my focus i don't think i ever finished my thought on the Okay. That's it. I game overed. Right? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I got one left. So, you know, I was saying that uh, Corpocalypse's uh, thing was from, I thought, from Proverbs because... Um, I'm going to finish that story after the break. <laughs> I do want to finish that because I, I do kind of want to talk about the Bible tonight. I don't know. I just have I have that motive. Sue me. It's a Christian channel. Leave me alone. Okay. I will say I'll be right back. We're going to pick up right exactly where I left off and go from there. Cool. 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 Goodbye.
back, baby. Baby, I'm back. Business. Back in business. We're just gonna pick up exactly where we left off. Um, but yeah, the Bible is just a cool book. Have you known that? Has anybody taught you that? Your Sunday school teacher better. Um, but it is. It's a very interesting book. Like, I just got done studying... I, I was taking a class on uh, the creation story. Genesis 1, 1 through 2, 3. And it is way deeper than you think it is. Truthfully and honestly. It is way deeper than you think it would be. Yes, please. Uh... Because it's more, it's more than just seven days worth of creation. Well, six and then the Sabbath day. This is the seventh day. But each day brought about its own meaning. And the poetry that Genesis 1 entails, which it is set up in very, he very common Hebrew, uh, like, poetic standards. And you just don't typically. Oh, 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 oh. and it, you know it's one of those things that we often, personally, I think, um, we kind of take it for granted um, because we we hear it personally. I think we hear the story so much that you know when I say you know what's the creation story. You know, we automatically think, okay, yeah, sun, moon, the earth, the skies, water, land, um, all that kind of stuff. You're like, yeah, well, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I could have landed on that. I could have landed on that. Um, but no, it's it's a lot deeper than it, it almost feels like it claims to be. Um, and I'll share like a couple cool insights that changes my perspective on things um, oh, man. Um, like the understanding that day two you know we think of the skies um, that's what was created the skies above and the earth below actually um, what was created uh, based on the Hebrew language was called the Rakia, which essentially acts like a frick, like a dome. So think of the sky as like this blue this blue sky. Now obviously, you know we've been to space. We know what's above that. So this is tr strongly based just off of the Hebrew uh, knowledge at the time. But if you think of the blue sky that we see during the day as like a dome, like there's an arc to it, and sitting above that arc is what is what would we call is what we would call the heavens, um, because there's a lot of language that says like oh, 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 that like that the rakia is like God's heavenly footstool. And uh, I can't remember if it was Moses or Elijah that um, called that. Oh, gosh, yeah! Um, who'd have thought it's just taking me talking about the Bible to focus? Um, but even up there, there are um, like the heavenly hosts. And they are the rulers above. Which essentially means that God worked with, like, a support crew. He wasn't just him, you know, shooting lasers and creating all this. He worked with, like, a whole cast of characters to say, You guys, you're in charge of the heavenly realm. And this is where you'll hear terms like angels, demons, Satan, um, all that kind of stuff. Which, again... Let's mention that Satan isn't a person. Well, he is. But Satan isn't this um, 
like the modernized modernized version of the devil. Satan is a Hebrew title. I believe Hebrew title. That just means the adversary. So like the opponent. And Satan or Satan was one of the angels. Because you can see that God and him have a conversation way back in Job. I might continue this after we learn chapter 6. Get into story mode. Let us begin. I think it's chapter 6. Friends! Then one day, while the girls sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another luma emerged of the same color. I'm sorry. From the planet, another luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one luma broke the silence. My mama! At once, the apricot luma parroted back, My mama! My mama! My mama! My mama! The two lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's when something strange happened. Suddenly, more lumas began to pop out from the apricot, apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama! My mama! The sight of all these shouting lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The lumas just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into, into the new house. Aww. Should do it for today. Amen. Hey, Yens. Looks like I get to stay. Welcome! Welcome! I just did the Sling Pod Galaxy. I think that's all you missed. <laughs> And funny enough, all it took was me talking about the Bible to focus long enough to, to learn how to do it. <laughs> so, but welcome back. Hopefully everything's okay. Everything's fine. Good! Good. Let's see. Secret start? Ooh, where are we going? Green start. Ooh. So I'm probably right in assuming that I don't necessarily need to go after the main star, do I? Oh gosh, don't let me die here. There must be something more. Bring me to life. You're gonna love the planet of trials? Why do I feel like you're saying that sarcastically? <laughs> oh, it's like right where the main star is? Okay. Okay, I believe you.
So yeah, I was talking about. Um, I just I just got done taking a class on Genesis one one through two three, or what we commonly call it, the creation story. And uh, I was just talking about how what I know now is so widely different from what I teach and what I was taught, um, because the creation narrative is so much deeper than what we think it is or what we claim it to be and um, it, it was just crazy I was talking about how the I'll read that in a second um, I was just talking about how like the the day two creation is always like the earth and the sky or the yeah Oh gosh, don't do, don't be, don't be stupid, me. Um, I know this game like the back of my hand. Actually, I don't know what the back of my hand looks like. Exactly my heart, so maybe not the best example. <laughs> Fair play. Okay, so green star, green star. Does it have to do with this? My money's on yes. Finger wound. Well, it's not quite what I had in mind. And uh, I've always had a hard time interpreting the day two creation story because it's like, but skies are named at a later thing, so. Under the main star. Oh. Do I have to take a... Uh, I probably have to take a, a, a mullet bill. Uh, a billion over here, don't I? Oh, it's Luigi! Yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish my story in a second. My brain is my brain is fried. Dang it! Oh, I forgot I had Luigi's mission right now. I completely forgot about that. Well, I know where I'm at, so I know what I need to do now. Um, so yeah, I was, I've was i always had a hard time understanding the Day 2 creation story because they call it, um, most Bibles to my knowledge, and I shouldn't say that I know because I really don't know every translation there is. Um, Got to keep bullet billions real close. Though. Um... Oh, they call it, um, like, firmaments. The firmaments under the sky. And it's like, or the firmaments in the sky. It's like, what does that mean? I don't understand. What does that mean? What's a firmament? And I've always, it always has been taught, translated for me as the sky. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's the sky. But the ancient Hebrews of the time who wrote this um, believed it's like a dome. Yeah. 
Luigi! Bruh, I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. Yeah, yeah, you want this power star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. Yeah, sure, bro. I'll, 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 I'll get you. Um... The ancient Hebrews believed it to be this dome. So you would have to imagine, now granted, we know today more about our cosmos and our cosmology than the ancient Hebrews did back in, you know, 1500 BC. But, they believed it to be a dome. So like, our sky would be the dome and then the heavens are above that, necessarily. So God and the heavenly rulers, they would reign above all that. Um, and that's where the heavenly realm came from. Oh, what do we got? You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green members about them. After all, they will transform into the green power stars. Oh, cool. Um, and that's when I was talking about, like, the divine council, and this is where the concept of, like, angels and demons get put into play in the Bible, because they are... God appoints uh, authorities or rulers to maintain what's above the Rakia. And, like I said, those would be what we know as like angels, demons, uh, Satan even, which again, Satan isn't uh, a, a person like we would kind of clarify him to be today. And to, rest to restore the blink, the green doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. Oh, cool. And, um, all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's kind of what I was talking about. It was just fascinating to me to be like, oh, okay, now I have, like, this very good understanding, this very niche understanding of what the heck this is all about. And then, like, some of the other things that it taught me was, like, the object of, like, I really gotta watch how I say this, because this, I don't want to blaspheme. But, like, the object isn't for us, you know, this may call into a question a lot, but this is how I've interpreted it, um, isn't for us to go to heaven, but to bring the heavenly realm and the earthly realm back to a, a meshed unity, um, which is a really interesting concept to me. It just is. And I can't quite explain it. Okay, I got Okay. Go mode is going to be engaged. Time to speedrun. Speedrun! <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> I goofed up. Oh, I'm just beating him. Oh, okay. I can beat him kind of quick. Uh, boop. I was doing okay. <laughs> I was doing actually kind of good. I was kind of impressed with myself even. Oh, I just now caught the idea that I only have one life. I was wondering how I died so fast. Now it made sense. <laughs> Kids out. Kids out. Oh, that's the daredevil, isn't it? I for I completely forgot. It has been a long time since they explained that. Now, said, so, but that's the daredevil. It's one life. 
isn't it? That would make sense. That makes complete sense. So. But yeah. I guess if you want to check out more, I could go on about it, but I don't know, you know, where people's kind of like levels of interest are. I don't know. I kind of get... One of my youth, if she was here, would tell you. Um, I get real, like, I don't, you know, like, uh, what's the, how do I phrase it? Like, uh, like very... Gosh, why am I struggling to think of it? Like, I'll, I'll shut up about things that, like, I'm passionate to talk about just because I'm not sure of how everybody else hears it. Um, okay, so that's all the main stars here. It's a secret star. I don't feel like secret stars right now because it requires brain power, and I surely don't have any of that. So... <laughs> I don't know how everybody here who's watching is like, you know, how cool they are if I talk, if I nerd out on the Bible, because I can do that for days. I love talking about the Bible. That's why I have a whole blog site that talks about the Bible. So, but obviously if there's not an interest or people are like, eh, shut up, Middleton, and just play the game. It's like, okay, I get it. Comet. What's this one? It's a blue star one. Honey high. Oh, it's a race. Hmm. Oh, I have to get to there. Oh, okay. Who am I racing? Oh, this is sunshine. This has sunshine vibes all over it. Expert, I'm failing this massively. What's the speed run tactic? Yeah, I goofed it. I goofed it. Gooped up horde. Alright, I know where they're Alright, here we go, here we go. Go mode. Brain and go mode. Brain and go mode. Got the lead, got the lead. Oop. I'm just gonna run to the back. Do this, this. No, come on, I had a ball jump. It worked. Dang it. Okay. Get 
getting there. Learning. Learning. I'm learning. Big brain. Galaxy brain. Eh. The galaxy brain is peaking. Max velocity. Get there. I, mean, I know what to do, I just gotta get better at it. Go here we go here we go so what's so what's so what's on the radio golden yes More stars. Man, we are getting so close. It is so close to the final countdown. Okay. So I'll say that's all in this galaxy. to the kitchen. Time to cook up those steaks in the kitchen. Yes, I know Mama's library is in there. Been there 30 times. Oh. Now I'm an expert at doing the crouch jumps. Because the garden world that now will be two more uh, stages. Beware of Boulder Geist. I don't know if I know what's over there. Oh. I know how to get there. Luigi was kidnapped by the monster that lives here. Oh. Well, I guess I better go rescue him. Not where I thought it would take me, but you know what? These beggars can't be choosy. Oh gosh, really?
Shaker press Y to spin bomb booze. When it hits something, it goes boom. And there's a bomb boo? Oh. <laughs> now I see what I must do. Time to go to work. I'm sorry, I got quiet. You're good. You're good, man. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So, take care of yourself. I understand. I hope, I hope you do feel better soon. So, but no matter what it is, Hope you feel better. So if you need to, if you need to go to, to take care of yourself, then go. I'd rather you be healthy than you be active. I meant to ask, how are you feeling? Because I know um, last time we talked, I think you were battling like a stomach bug, right? Or like good stomach pain. Forgive me if I'm being, like, that oblivious. Oh, I didn't realize you were floating there. Wait, can I not fall down this? Dude. Big understand. Okay, good. I understand, though. Taking care of yourself is not always the most fun thing to do. And I get not liking to do that, because I struggle with that myself. But you need to take care of yourself. You're the only Kabuki the stream has, and we need you. We need you to be in tip-top shape. I need Michael Axford to be in tip-top shape. So, but I understand. I'm not here to lecture you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to definitely suggest Sick the rest of my army on you. So help me. I slightly can't. I did stop drinking milk this week, so that's good. Are you lactose intolerant? You told me that. Why do I feel as soon as I said that? I'm like, I, these, uh, they've said that before. They've said that. Very lactose intolerant. Gotcha. Well, then, yes, it is good that you stop drinking milk. I want to say we talked about that because I think we did have a conversation about food before. And I, I think you said that because as soon as I, as soon as I said it, as soon as I asked you, I'm like, wait a minute, this sounds like very common information, or this sounds like. Forget it, my brain. <laughs> Either way, I think yes, you've said that before. Do I remember when and how? No. 
My brain is uh, currently on something to try and figure out how the heck I'm doing this. Oh, I got this. This is a cool boss. I think. It's like this was actually like one of the best stages to get to this fight because it truly did everything to teach you. I don't remember ever bringing that. Maybe you didn't. Maybe I'm just uh, gaslighting myself. But I'm like 90% confident. I don't remember. Plus, my memory is as good as garbage. So, who knows? I may, I may just be saying it to boost my own ego. I really don't know. Maybe I'm secretly like one of those evangelists that you see on TV that are curing people's sicknesses or or like or like a hypnotist who's like very vague about the questions they ask but it's like I'm assuming you are lactose intolerant because you said you gave up milk I don't know I'm I'm slightly stupid I mean what can I say Read that in a second. I usually don't bring it up as we usually have a bad reputation for trying to bring it up every chance we get. N You're good with me. I, I believe I've never been like officially diagnosed, but I believe I am. I have some form of lactose intolerance. Um, but I don't know a hundred percent. So when it comes to lactose intolerance, you good with me? If you want to talk about it, talk about it. I died. <laughs> Frickety fraggity. So, but I am glad that you stopped drinking milk this week to take care of your lactose intolerance issue. And I will say too, there is nothing wrong with almond milk. I drink, I drink that. I usually have almond milk when I uh, uh, am using milk of some kind. So, and almond milk is delicious. Granted, I will say I don't ever use normal or like plain almond milk. I always get vanilla. You know, I was talking with someone last night who hated milk, and I was like, yeah, we can trade tongues because that would be very helpful. <laughs> you know, fair point. Almond milk just isn't the same. I get that. I do. But I think I have this, like, awesome love for the taste of vanilla. So, like, any time I get something vanilla flavored, I'm like, oh, yes, more of that in my body, please and thank you. And, um, like, almond milk just hit different. I mean, I agree with you wholeheartedly that it is not the same as normal milk. But, you gotta just give it a chance. I mean, maybe you just, oh gosh. Maybe you just haven't had the right milk. The right almond milk. You know, maybe, maybe it's like, the, it's not like the, the, the rude X to get back with, like, you need that kind of positivity in your life. So, yes, I just compared almond milk to an X. Tell me I'm not a youth leader who doesn't use object lessons. <laughs> I can't believe I actually did make that reference. What do you got? <laughs> I'm a little ashamed of myself. Uh, give me this. I'm a little ashamed of myself. If I'm, not, if I'm being honest. I 
can't get over it. Um, <laughs> almond soy lactate never tasted the same, but better, uh, better than spending a few hours a day in discomfort. I get that. That makes sense. So, I mean, that's just me. I mean, I, I, I get that. So my granddad always taught me there's just some things you can't get the name brand of. So sometimes you have to get the good stuff. And that includes milk in my case. Because I am that same way with like coffee creamer. I am a coffee cream snob. Uh, I'll, I'll be the first to admit. I, j I just am. So I, I get it. I do. Yeah. Whew. I'm gonna bring myself off of that laughing fit because wow. That tickled me more ways than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. Boom, bang, boom. Bing, boom. Bing, boom, ba, boom. Bing. I hate that I hit his UV. I just uh, right with me. That make me feel good. It makes me feel off as a human. What what is a coffee creamer snob anyways? I prefer very specific kinds of creamer and people who tell me well what's the difference between international delight and coffee mate? And I can very easily tell them many difference. <laughs> I will buy the fancy Starbucks creamer. I will buy, you know, the special lactose intolerant creamer, the almond milk creamer. I mean, I don't go with cheap stuff if I'm purchasing it. I'll say it that way. If somebody else gets it for me, I am ever grateful because they are feeding my addiction. But if I'm if I'm buying the good stuff, I am getting So, and plus, you know, when it comes to ordering coffee at, like, Big B's or Starbucks or uh, Tim Hortons, like, you can bet your sweet bippy that the good stuff is coming. Whatever that means, but I don't, I don't skimp out. You are not allowed to grow your hand back. Please tell me this is also the final form of this dude. Because if not, I will cry. I haven't drank coffee in a long time. Oh. Man, it, it is a daily. And shoot, I just had a cup of iced coffee just before the stream. Oh no, do not let me die. Where's that gold coin when I frick? Where's that gold coin when I need? get through this first round so much but I'm afraid of Nintendo's rules of three there's gonna be a third round after he grows arms I don't I feel like he's gonna grow legs next I 
just want this battle to be over. There are like three coffee makers in the house. I'm surprised I don't drink it more often. You know, never be too surprised by that because I, you would think with how much coffee product is in my house. Spoilers, I'm just nice day somewhere. Yay! Thank you. It's not a spoiler, it's a fear. <laughs> so thank you. It makes me feel a little bit better. Throw a gold rock at me. So, but like I said, I mean, I have a Keurig. I mean, it showed you. I have a Keurig here that I use for my coffee. I have a cup of Blackstock iced coffee, which, by the, in my honest opinion, is the, one of the best iced coffee brands you could buy in the stores. <laughs> Yo, quagmire moment, you know? Hey, when you grow up on Family Guy, it happens. Sometimes it just be like that. What? <laughs> yep, I have a Keurig here. I have a Keurig at my office. I have a, plus a Keurig in the church overall. Um, iced coffee here. Um... The only thing, I, and I can't tell you how many times I have door dashed coffee um, just to have it. Because there's no, like, official coffee shop near close enough to me where I could, like, go and walk to it and get it. So I've door dashed Big B's so many times that I, you would think I would own stock in the store. You know what's funny too? Like, I have had an affinity for coffee for years. DoorDash coffee, yep. A thousand percent. Usually on Thursdays, I will DoorDash breakfast to, to my office. Um, just kind of like a celebration, you know. Hey, you made it to the end of the work week. <laughs> and uh, nine times out of ten, it's a Big B coffee. Usually supercharged up. With a bagel sandwich and donut holes, donut holes. That, or it's McDonald's coffee with two egg McMuffins and, a, and scrambled eggs. Or it's Burger King with a large vanilla cold brew. With, <laughs> with uh, I think it's a croissant, which is what I normally get. Ham, egg, and cheese croissant, which... DoorDash is so I <laughs> made the guilty pleasure investment and got Dash Pass. So it's still expensive, don't get me wrong, but it is a little cheaper <laughs> than normal. And I think I've saved, like, because I've had Dash Pass for about a year. No, not a year. For like six months. McDonald's coffee isn't strong enough for me, TBH. I do get that. Um, I will be the one to say that I get it for the flavor. <laughs> um, like the taste of McDonald's, like frappes or anything to me is just, I love the taste. I don't do it for the caffeine. I mean, I will kind of spice it up for a little bit, but I don't do it for the caffeine intake. So like the last coffee I got from Big B's was a... Caramel drizzle cold brew. The, one of the most delicious things ever. But uh, it was a shot of whip, a shot of espresso, and it was, the sucker was strong. I, I can't argue it. But, thank goodness that you can't die in the overworld. <laughs> no! The cake has four flavor, but it's got some cake. Yeah, I mean, it's not like my immediate go-to. You know who had picked up their game? Is Wendy's when they introduced their breakfast menu. Their cold brew slaps a little bit. I can't argue it. It does slap. 
You know, you wouldn't think it'd be like the best of the best, but it, it's, it, it, it's up there. Ooh. Uh, let's go into multi mold. No. Let's go back to deep dark. No. Wendy's breakfast menu? That slaps in a whole new direction. I wish they. I wish. I wish. I wish restaurants would get over this um, breakfast menu. Just, just offer breakfast stuff all the time. Like, just do it. Like, it's not hurting. It's not like it'll hurt your sales of anything else. Just like offer breakfast all the time. You know how cool it would be to get like a Whopper with a side of French toast sticks? Granted, yes, in hindsight that does sound horrible, but you know how cool that would be? Just to even have the ability? Oh, hang on. Just currently burning my butt. I'm singeing my butt hairs. Wendy's is the best. Their only place. They're the only place that sim simultaneously has guac and doesn't judge me for wanting it on my burger. Good. And uh, can I talk about that guac on your burger? I'm not here to judge. But I'm well. I guess I can't say a whole lot. I'm not a huge guacamole fan. Although I've never had like authentic guac. And my experience for saying I'm not a guacamole fan is going to be very white girl of me. Um, and I really don't know if I want to say it at risk of being... At risk of casting more judgment. Ah, heck. Um, I don't know if you remember, uh, Wendy's, Domin or, let me try that from the start, Doritos came out with a guacamole, guac is my special energy guac sandwich. You know, I can't argue it, because I've never officially had, like I said, professional, I'll call it professional guac. The only time I've ever had anything guac flavored was when Doritos came out with a guacamole flavored Dorito a long time ago and it didn't hit with me. Okay, yeah, I don't have enough. And uh, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. And it, I'll be the first one to admit, it ruined guac for me. But again, I have yet to have authentic guacamole. Beep, 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 beep. Let's just calm down. Really? Oh, oh. <laughs> threading gaps. Never had the guac Dorito, but it sounds like it wouldn't translate well. Granted, I think this was like 2005, 2006. So it shows you how long it's been. But yeah, I just, I just couldn't. I couldn't hang with it. I think, I, I just always assumed that if I couldn't hang with that, I couldn't hang with the real stuff. So, now granted, I'm open to trying it. I don't know, it also feels like it's too pasty. Um, Cause I guess I, I've never been one that's like, couldn't speak, let alone eat it or anything. Wait, have you never had Doritos? Wait, what? 
There's context to this, Fubuki, that I think I need because I think I'm missing out on something. Oh my, no thanks. Didn't realize I was speedrunning. Eh. I couldn't speak yet alone, yet let alone eat a Dorita. Wall? Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this right now, okay? about that right now. Okay, we're good. We're good. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. This feels like wall climb territory. Nope. Let's not let's not focus on it. Let's not focus on it. Ooh. That was kind of impressive. Yeah. You said something? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay, yep. You're talking about eating that dude. I think so. That sounds familiar to me, at least. I don't know for sure, because I, I know it's just been a heck of a long time. I mean, I'm 26, and I remember eating that in, like, elementary, so that's definitely 2004 to 2006. Maybe junior high. All right, that world wasn't too bad. Fly me to the moon, let me strange across the stars. Oh, it did come back in, oh. It did come back in 2013, so I had a chance to put it a wall, but I missed that. Personally, you didn't miss much. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't know it came back in 2013. I don't know, just, just like I said, maybe I'm just I'm I have the t the taste memory of the guac chip, and it's like, ugh, I, you know, I could my life didn't change for the better with the guac chip, so why would it change with guac? Wait, where do I go? Yeah, it was made and discontinued before I was born. It seems like I was born in the wrong generation. Fair enough. Why, when was it made? Okay, so I was right. You weren't born yet? I guess I never did ask. How old are you, Fabuki? Because for some reason, I have it in my head that you're like my age. Like I said, I'm 26. Fourteen? My dude. You're... Whoa. 
Alrighty then. <laughs> yeah, just you you feel way more mature than my typical 14 year old. So which is a I guess I never did ask. I mean, what, what I, for my business, but. Hmm. Cool. I seriously had you pegged for my age. That's insane to me. Okay, full of billions. Oh. Well, usually that would be a weird thing to ask with no context. You know, fair point. <laughs> Very fair point. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll take it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I will say the majority of my ministry is like very Gen Z uh, middle schoolers. So, and you don't, from what I, from what I know about, from what I feel like I know about you, you don't, doesn't feel like you fit that stereotypical Gen Z. I feel like I'm backpedaling. I feel like I'm putting myself in a corner. You're cool. <laughs> I'll just phrase it that way. You're dope. You're awesome to hang with. And I appreciate you. Gosh, just bought this. Let's try again. This time with flavor. It's more with flavor. Well, I just did that to my voice. Of course. Of course. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I am okay. It's just, it's frustrating because I feel like I've been so close the whole time. I'm not. I'm not actually upset. I'm. I'm sarcastically upset. So, I, I am getting frustrated with it, but it, I'm frustrated at myself <laughs> for feeling like I've been so close yet so far. Get over your bullets. Take not this way, not this way, not this way, this way. Hup, hup, hup. Ha ha. They usually kill all those, whatever those things are first. I, th from what I could, from what I thought, I thought they respawned. So I didn't think it was worth killing them. Okay. Gosh, I'm going to hate my life. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah! I forgot how that works. 
how that works. Please. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, instructions, please. Um, hey, my name is Bill Board. Uh, oops. Yeah, half a minute longer get through here. Show ready. I'm ready to hmm, and tilt this to move around be the jump. Okay, try not to fall on anything. So. Okay, so I have to hold it like this. This gamer made <laughs> it's me, yet I can't remember. Very basic enemy. Hey, you know what? You were thinking about others. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Alright, let's not be stupid. <laughs> I want my mom! <laughs> so help me if I. Oh gosh, I have one life left. <sighs> calm, cool, and collected. So the smarter move would probably be to take the straight shot across. I can probably make the jump to get the one up. Okay. Stop. Well, I got the one up. Okay, so I need to stop, running, jump. <laughs> I'm gonna go quiet here, so we're going on go mode. Okay, brain's on go mode. Okay, let's go. I did. I I said what to do. I said it. You heard it. I said it. Did I do it? No. Why? Cause I I suck. This might be the last stage we go for today. We don't, we don't have that much time left, so this may be the last stage because I think this one will kill my brain cells. Okay. Make the jump. Okay. Apparently, it's called Little Cinder, and the ice one is called Little. Bur oh, that's fun. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. Okay. It's either going to be I get this and win the level or we did to or uh, I die and we call it a night. <laughs> it's going to be one of the two. I've, I've just yet to decide which. <laughs> Making sure. I mean, it, it makes sense, right? <laughs> I mean, it Visually, like, I have straight shot to just go. Is it the smartest thing to do? Probably not. Am I going to continue it? You bet, because that's the definition of insanity. Trying to do the same thing and expecting different results. Granted, I've experienced only the same result. Stop. Stop. Can I not make this jump? I'm just gonna go quiet for a minute. So I can focus. We're okay. We're okay. Everybody's okay. Everybody. Shh. Everybody. Shh. Everybody. Shh. Who talked? <laughs> Dang it! I felt so good about that. Okay. Okay. Works good. Brains and go mode. I gotta jump this. Surely betting money that I was jumping off the end of the world by the end of that level. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm way too giddy to be happy. <laughs> oh, man, oh man, alive! That was cool. Pog indeed. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Gotta think this through now. Okay, that's the last world we're gonna do today. Cheat <laughs> you, I said the word. <laughs> you said it. Okay, that's the last word. We'll, that's the last one we're gonna do for today. I have five stars left before we hit Bowser. I'm torn between two alternatives. Fabuki, you've been here. You've been here for the last three, uh, three streams. So therefore, I'm gonna let you make the final decision. Option one, another three hour stream, or actually with five stars, we play, we start at eight tomorrow or next Friday and we go, we go until we're done. Or plan B, I farm, I get the last five stars off, off camera. Then we come back Friday and it's the battle for the special one to get the special one. You tell me what sounds more appealing to watch. Because I am leaving it completely in your hands. The state of the stream is in your hands. No pressure. <laughs> you at least tell me what sounds more entertaining to watch. Or if you really don't care, you can tell me you don't care. Do everything on screen? All right, that's what we'll do. But I promise the next stream will be the last. Might as well. Fair enough. The next stream will be the last. We're going to start right at 8. You did all the rest? Thank you. Very true. Next Friday we start at 8. I just spit everywhere. And we go until we're done. And Bowser shouldn't take too long. Awesome. And that will be it for Super Mario Galaxy. Then we'll take a week off. Or take a... A kind of gaming break and then i want to do like the fun sit down stuff like i talked about and then uh the week after we'll start something else i don't know yet for some reason for some reason my brain wants to do house flipper i don't know why but i do i want to do four weeks worth of that forgive me i will say too uh before i forget and i'll do reminders as i go um end of the end of august so whatever that Friday is the last week of August, which I think is the first Friday in, in September, um, the end of an era. Um, I'm going to be taking that week off. Um, it's my vacation time, so I'm taking that week off. It's just before we kind of kick into the fall season, which is usually a time I take off. So there will be no stream that week. Um, and again, I will just I will do constant reminders because obviously this is a month in advance. So um, but just throwing that out there. So we will probably do house flip or august schedule let's pull up a calendar because i'm gonna do it you guys are gonna hold me to it the sixth we wrap up super mario galaxy 13th we do our sit down personality stream 20th and 27th we play house flipper september 3rd is off week and i'll set the notifications up on well, Twitch. I don't think I can set an off skit. That you'll know. And then we'll be back on the 10th, probably with a story game. I need probably should do Minecraft because I did take a I took a long time off of that um, because I was getting really frustrated because I suck in the Nether. Um, but we may do Minecraft. I don't know. That is too far in advance for me to talk about. But that is going to be August's stream schedule. And I hope you're excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm going to wrap it up here for the night because it's almost 11 my time. I will be back 8 o'clock Eastern next Friday for a the, for the finale of Super Mario Galaxy. Don't forget to check us out on socials, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You'll see all the lessons, all the other stuff I post because I post way more than I think I do. And uh, um, enjoy it enjoy it thank you fabuki for being here thank you everybody who showed up thank you again to corpocalypse fabuki and your mom 166 for the follows on twitch tonight you guys rock <laughs> edt gang yeet yeet oh gosh i hate myself i better get off <laughs> i better get off stream um we'll see you next week and see you guys next week as always i say it every video and i mean it stay safe stay sane Above everything else, stay blessed. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.
Bye. <laughs>